compulsory licenses there are two types of licenses broadly compulsory licenses are licenses which are forced licenses licenses which are granted by the government and you have voluntary license voluntary license is a license that the ip holder the owner of the ip would voluntarily grant in lieu of a license fee compulsory licenses are employed where it is not possible to get a voluntary license and there are certain factors most like most of them are pertaining to the interest of the public where the government can intervene or the administrative authority the like the patent office can grant a compulsory license compulsory licenses are statutory licenses to do an act covered by an exclusive right without the consent of the owner so it is also called use without authorization so you could get a license even when the right holder is not inclined to license it to you now under the patents act there are four types of compulsory licenses there is a third party initiated or a market initiated compulsory license there is a special compulsory license where the government can grant compulsory licenses in case of an extreme emergency or a uh, emergency and there is also a compulsory license of related patents patents or technologies that are related a person needs the other technology or the patent without which he cannot put his technology into effect can seek for a, a license of a related patent and there is also a special compulsory license for export of pharmaceutical products to other countries now to get an application for a uh, to file an application for a compulsory license the person filing the license has to establish a prima facie case that there is a preliminary case for grant of a compulsory license and any person can do this who is an interested person under the definition as defined by the act after the expiry of 3 years from the grant of the patent so the patent has to be allowed to stay for 3 years and only after the 3 year period can a person seek a compulsory license now the conditions on which a person can seek a compulsory license are that reasonable requirements of the public has not been satisfied or it is not available for a reasonably affordable price or the invention or the patent is not worked in india now the other applications under 91 92 and 92a which we had mentioned as the special compulsory license the uh, this is a special license and this is the license of related patents and this is the license for export of pharmaceuticals so these have their own procedure and in india we have so far had only one compulsory license granted for a patent that was in the nexavar case that's the name of the product the license was granted against bio a pharmaceutical company and it was granted to natco an indian generic company section 31 of the copyrights act provides for compulsory licensing of copyright so you also have copyright uh, compulsory licensing of copyrighted works for works that are withheld from the public the conditions are that the copyright owner should have refused to publish or allow the publication of the work and the copyright owner allow for the performance of the work in public hence it was did not allow for the performance of the work in public hence the work was withheld from the public so cases where the work is withheld from the public they could be a compulsory license saying of such copyrighted works now where the copyrighted owner allows for communication of the work to the public by way of broadcast of such work where that is refused and where he refuses to provide sound recording in reasonable terms are also covered under instances where a person can seek a compulsory license compulsory license can also be granted for unpublished indian works now the objective is to ensure the availability of the copyrighted material